Okay, so uh, on Prime on Prime Video and Filmation Me Together, the one title that we've been covering is Mirzapur, and it's it's unbelievable how season three is finally here and how the trailer definitely la uh, formed a punch and it looks a lot more fiery, a lot more vengeful in comparison to the previous seasons. Uh, Gurmeet, let's begin with you. Uh, I think if you look from your journey since the beginning, since season one up till now, what would you say has been your greatest growth as a filmmaker and presenting such a violent but yet uh, layered story? Wow. Uh, I mean, uh, it's very difficult to talk about one's own self. Uh, but I think, again, uh, the aim is always to work off the material. I think our focus has always been to uh, get into the writing as much as possible, uh, look to flesh that out as much as we can. And specifically, if you look at uh, returning seasons and how we can sort of evolve, uh, the first season, when we went into it, we wanted it to feel very raw, very brutal. Uh, and that's how the filmmaking was also approached because our characters were very young. So if you see it just purely as a filmmaking standpoint, so you will find a lot of handheld, you will find slightly abrupter cuts, um, you'll find even the the lighting slightly grungier, it's a lot more contrasty, um, you know, the outdoors are all blown out. It's to give the feeling of the angst that these young people are going through in their uh, story for survival. And you see that even in the portrayal of the violence, like you mentioned. And as we moved into the next season, the story changed color into a story of revenge. And so the second season, you will find a lot more brooding, a lot more intense, a lot more isolated. Uh, you find uh, Guddu and Golu specifically, you see them a lot more interior nights. And uh, the season only opens out right towards the end when it climaxes, you know, going into those big wides. Uh, so the color sort of changed, the pace sort of changed. You'd see slower tracks, you'd see more shots which are held for a longer time. So a uh, very different pace and intensity of that season, a very different portrayal of even the the violence that was uh, shown on screen for season two. Then moving into a season three, which is by this time now, our journey's almost traveled eight years. So all of mm. us have sort of matured, grown. Hopefully our audiences have also grown up with us. Uh, this season is almost in a way, uh, these young people, who are all now in seats of power. So whether it's, and they're young still, you know, they've, they've gone through a lot in their lives, but you have to remember that they're very young people. So whether it's, you know, Sharad Shukla, who's heading Jaunpur, whether it's Guddu or Golu, who are heading Mirzapur, whether it's Madhuri Yadav, who's at the seat of power in politics, or whether it's uh, Shat Tyagi, who's heading the seat in Sevan, they all now have power, but can they, will they know how to use it? Are they experienced enough? And as you all know that, you know, power is very difficult to contain. It corrupts. So there is a madness to this season. And that is what mm -hmm. you would see in uh, the trailer that you've seen that they, uh, this, the uh, ability or inability to be able to control their ambitions, their power is the, the thought and color of the season. And that's where the filmmaking also is drawing from it. So uh, you will see a lot more energized uh, short taking as you as we go into this season, um, there is a sense of frenzy, uh, but not in the raw and uh, grainy, grungy style that we saw in season one. So this is uh, frenzy, but uh, through a lot of adrenaline and a lot of rush. Sure, absolutely. Thank you so much. Such a beautiful answer. That was so wonderful. Um, I'm going to talk about Golu uh, because I, I think uh, I have always been very fascinated, Shweta, by the roles that you've chosen. Um, There is a sense of, uh, in a way, you have a very unassuming feel about the characters that you play. You know, they seem like, for example, they seem very cute and very... Um, mm -hmm you know, one you would affiliate kind of um, a girl next door with. But then there's also a side to them, which is also equally fiery. And I think the way you've balanced both these aspects, especially even in Golu, has been very fascinating to, for me to watch. When you began with Mirzapur in, 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 in season one, obviously that was a very different time. You were still breaking through at that point as an actor, correct? 
Um, and now when you are when you've got a gamut of like experience and emotions, how does that translate with the already style of characters that you've always been doing? I think if you if your intent and purpose is right, as long as that is coming from what makes you happy, what challenges you, and uh, what is the kind of work that you want to do. If you are just true to that, then the rest will happen. Because our job as an actor is to um, serve the story, to uh, bring to life what our writer and director, what they want to see. So I think one thing that has really helped me is the people that I work, right from Masan to Mirzapur. Uh, I have been very lucky. I am blessed to work with people whose, uh, who are telling these stories because they want to tell this. Yes, numbers are very important to everybody. And how a show or a film does is very important to everybody because it is, it is show business at the end of it. But their heart... The perspective of everything is emotions. And I think if that is your driving force as a human and as an actor, then the universe will help you. So uh, I will take a little credit of it, but I would give most of the credit to the uh, to the cast and crew because uh, they have made my journey as an actor so fulfilling that I just want to continue having this offset experience because I think if that is a good experience if that's headed in a uh, in a in the best way possible then what you see on screen will also be a result of that so you win personally and professionally no it's so right and I think it is definitely a collaborative effort and you are very amazing to watch on screen I must also tell you uh but Anjum uh you are also a force to be reckoned with uh I think if we look by the sort of works you've done previously, uh, Wazir, uh, Slumdog Millionaire, um, a lot of the works that you have done, I think also have a very huge sense of intensity attached to them. I think the beauty of Mirzapur is what it does, even through the layering of politics, of the literally Game of Thrones uh, and the violence, <laughs> it really brings out the essence of um, recurring characters like yours. Shut up. Um, so for you, in terms of an, as an actor, how does the exterior of content like Mirzapur necessarily impact you as an artist in bringing out that intensity in a very authentic manner? Uh, very interesting question. Completely, actually, you know. See, the thing is, as you rightly said, ki an actor, while you are, while you are in the process of... Uh, you know, trying to become better and better as an actor in your formative years also. It's uh, one really wants to explore uh, content or a script which has a lot of depth. And uh, I mean, sometimes you really have a very intense and a very cathartic and a very deep uh, experience while through you're making something. Could it be a stage play, which I used to do earlier? And even, uh, you know, as moving forward in cinema or in uh, the other uh, this long format uh, storytelling yes mirzapur and also you know uh, the choice and the want has been to be a part of things which are very good on content which are good uh, material in writing and uh, i mean i was fortunate enough to uh, you know encounter a, uh, an opportunity like mirzapur and yes uh, as far as the intensity goes the show had that kind of a possibility. It's written well. There is a lot of space given to characters to evolve, you know, all through the seasons as the story moves ahead. Particularly my character had a lot of intensity, had a lot of depth, and there was a lot of scope that one could actually, uh, you know, it was also, uh, what, how do I say? It was uh, very cerebrally also very satisfying that you could actually apply uh, a lot of craft into it while you are constructing it, you know, and uh, I would say the credit, as far as it's mine, it is uh, major credit goes to initially, I mean, Puneet who had created the character and the and the show, but a lot of it also goes to uh, my director, Guru, who mm. has been a constant provider of ideas of uh, letting me 
take my own space, explore my own area, but also telling me, giving me the right direction ki what exactly we can make uh, out of this character. For example, uh, during our earlier conversations when we were making this character, he had told me that let's make this character. We have uh, an antagonist probably in the show or an uh, protagonist, but let's make this character who's not... Uh... So there was a thin line in between which we were trying, which were which we were trying to walk on, and uh, the choices were very delicate, very minute. A lot, a uh, lot of things I had to depend on, which were unsaid. You know, I mean, but there was already there inside me as an actor, which need to come out. But we are not actually verbalizing it. We are not saying it. So all in all, it was quite an intensive, very satisfying uh, experience, and you know. I believe the whole circle of uh, anything which you are creating ends, completes actually, once you get a feedback from your audiences. It, this this whole thing actually has started from uh, theater back then when you know an actor creates something and then it is completed when audience comes to you at backstage and they tell you what do they think so that you can evaluate, you can take, you can see what they're thinking and you can move ahead and um, probably incorporate some of the things in your, in the, in your uh, next shows. Same when uh, the show came out, season two came out, there were a lot of reactions, a lot of uh, feedback which I got, especially for the uh, the minute details which we had taken as our choices. And when right. all those things landed very well, it was quite a satisfying experience. So oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. That was such a lovely answer. And I think because I've got a last question and I'm going to give that uh, last question to Shweta and to Anjum. Uh, I feel like the OTT medium has proven as a very successful middle ground between television and cinema. Uh, and I think within that middle ground, I feel actors like yourself, um, especially those who are not, uh, let's just say, who are actors and not there for the Instagram hits or there just to become stars. You've become prominent names through the medium of OTT, right? Um, and of course, I don't want to bracket your crafts as actors as that, but we've definitely seen how it's definitely proven a great medium for that. Uh, in terms of you uh, as actors, you know, I feel like what's happened now and a lot of the times is that there seems to be a bit of a, a waiting game, you know, where, you know, ek moka aega aur phir, you know, sab kuch ho jayega. How have, in your lives, have you kind of dealt with with perseverance as artists and not you know, and how difficult was it for you not to be so star driven and so cloud driven in that sense and be uh, consistent with your craft as actors? Shweta and Ananju. For me, it's always being on screen, being on stage, which has excited me. It's the acting part of the job. So be it followers, be it popularity, be it the kind of vanity van that you want that has it's exciting to get all of that, but that for me is not priority. That's not why I came to Bombay to act. Or that's not why when I was a six-year-old, I was in front of the camera in this show on Doordarshan. Because that being performing is what gave me joy. And that is what I'm still after. Because I think it's those... Uh, you need to surround yourself with things and people that spark joy. And acting does that for me. OTD, I think, um, we should make a shine uh, for, especially for OTD, because not just actors, there's, there are so many writers or technicians who've yeah. got, uh, who get to explore so much more, because it's not just the kind of characters or stories uh, that have changed, but it's also the way you tell a story or the color palette be it in terms of uh, characters or be the color palette that you see visually, uh, that has changed as well. And all those things make a difference that add to the magic that we see on screen. So uh, I enjoy watching OTD so much. So be it on this platform or be it on any other platform, I think it's a menu that we have. And you might like Desi Mughlai on some days and you might like uh, Spanish on certain days. So the menu which is OTT, you can order what you want with just a click. Okay, Anjum, very quickly if you can because we need to wrap up. See, you uh, uh, you spoke about perseverance. That has actually always been the key because, uh, <clears throat> I mean, that is that was my big uh, reason 
whatever I was doing in my career. I mean, that is the reason to be associated with the content driven thing. That was the reason why initially I, I did a show called Made in Heaven. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a small part, but again, it was content driven. So I did that thing. Even Mirzapur journey happened because of that only. So yeah, I mean, and things and also a lot of things, which I mean, kind of, I didn't resonate with. I, I didn't do. So obviously that means you are not doing up things, uh, you know, for certain reasons. So there will be a lull. But again, you know, OTT actually has uh, given, as uh, Shweta said, you know, reasons and creation to a lot of people in different departments, you know, writing, actors and all that. And uh, I mean, luckily, Mirzapur actually became that show which took OTT mm. in mainstream. So, mm, yeah. so yeah, it was it was a great thing to be a part of it, and it's a great uh, time for uh, any creator, especially actors, directors, writers, everybody actually. Thank you, young Rupa. <laughs> <laughs> like that, thank no, you, guys. No, it's so wonderful. I think just to be surrounded by such amazing talents really makes me feel very, very satisfied and awesome. So, thank you so much to all three of you for joining me on filmishomi.com and all the best for Mirzapur season three. And I cannot wait to see the gore fest unfold once again. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.